Hello guys, Major here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing good. Let's get started. In this video, I'd like to share the hatchet and bow build that I'm currently using in one of my characters for PvE. It's best for 1 to 1 combats, mostly too. This is one of the most tanky and hard hitting combo of armor and weapons. This build guide is intended for beginner or mid level players only. I'm using hatchet as the primary weapon and bow as the secondary weapon. The hatchet scales with strength and dexterity, on the other hand, the bow scales with dexterity only. I've put most of my points in strength, then in constitution and finally dexterity. This is because I plan to use medium weighted armor only. The 50 points of constitution really helps to face foes with higher levels and even reduces the chances of dying very often. I'm using medium weight armor for all the slots except for the chest slot. The chest slot is a heavy armor. Let's get into the armor details now. For the head, hand, leg and foot slots, I'm using Marauder Gladiator medium gears. For the chest slot, I'm using Marauder Gladiator breastplate of Barbarian. You can get all of these from the faction shop. Each of the medium gears have plus 8 dexterity and plus 5 constitution attributes with a resilient perk that deals 3.9% less damage if a foe lands a critical hit on you. The heavy chest wear has plus 8 strength and plus 5 constitution attributes with the same resilient perk. The amulet slot is equipped with the pearl amulet of the fighter that gives plus 8 strength and plus 5 dexterity attributes with a lucky perk that gives an additional 0.35 chance of finding rare items. The ring slot is equipped with the Simon's Hack Silver Ring that gives plus 17 strength with a physical ward gem that absorbs 1.5% physical damage and a bonus 4% slash damage perk. Okay, the weapon's turn now. The primary is the Hatchet of Soldier that gives plus 15 strength attribute and a perk named Vicious that provides 6.8% additional critical hit damage. Really useful. The secondary is the four second bow of the ranger. It gives plus 15 dexterity and a perk named mortal energy that provides 9.3 stamina for every kill. Coming down to the character's attribute division, I have reached 100 on strength. I have put 52 points myself, 8 points from equipment and 40 points from item buff. I have 59 points on dexterity. I have put 7 points myself. 8 points come from equipment and 44 from the armor. I have 50 points in constitution. Among them, I have put 25 points myself, 5 points come from equipment and 20 from item buff. Let's have a look at the weapon mastery for the hatchet first, then we'll dive into the bow. The hatchet is currently at level 12 for me. I'm using Feral Rush, Berserk with all of the upgrades making it unstoppable and Raging Torrent with all its upgrades. For the passives, I have enabled Accumulated Power and Fortifying Strikes. The best way to quickly deal great damage to any enemy with this combo is to activate Berserk, go a bit closer to the enemy and activate Raging Torrent. This should kill any enemy unless it's tanky or has any resistance. If a little health is left, spam light attacks or else go for a Feral Rush. That should do the trick. The bow is at level 7 since I do not use it as much. I am using the penetrating shot with the blood soaked arrow upgrade, rapid shot and poison shot abilities. For the passives I am using evasive tactics and impale. When I am going to fight a foe that has a lot of health or might be tanky, I use the poison shot first, dodge once to activate haste, then use rapid shot and if possible the penetrating shot. After this I will switch to my hatchet for the rest of the deal. If you have leveled up further on these, you can choose the skills according to your playstyle. This combo is working good for me and may be helpful for you too. Give it a shot and let me know your suggestions in the comment box below. If you have liked the video, please drop a like and share among your friends. A sub really shows the love and support for a growing channel and for more content. Until then, have fun in Eternum. Peace.